be scared. What's up, 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 Today, we're gonna be checking out a small game that's called Zombie Friend Adventure. It's a visual novel game where you're hanging out with a zombie girl, and uh, you're basically trying to get to know her and other stuff here. This is just like a hangover or something like that. Um, just your typical uh, visual novel game, as you can definitely see here, and I can definitely see that the menu here is pretty animated, so we're gonna be in for a treat right there. I definitely do like how this game looks, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get, my, get myself into, but we'll just have to see. Without further ado, let's see what Zombie Friend Adventure has in store for us for today. Three, two, one, let's go. Your headaches. There's a pulsating pain at the back of your head. But from what? As you begin to open your eyes, you notice a feeling about your... You notice a feeling around your arms. Oh. You've been restrained, but not with what appears to be rope. Instead, it appears to be... Ribbon? Pink ribbon, to be precise. Pink, glittery, shiny ribbon that wraps all around your body, restraining you to a spinning chair, finished with a big bow on the back. Despite the fact that it's ribbon, it's still surprisingly difficult to escape. You try to, you try to wiggle, ease the ribbon off, yet it doesn't budge. As your eyes adjust to the surroundings, a scene of a brightly covered part of a brightly colored, particularly pink room confronts your eyes. Oh, oh wow! We definitely have a lot of stuff in this room right there. Oh, look at the moving clouds! That's cute right there, and I like that uh, that picture of a chicken right over there. Decorated with circus, uh, par uh, paraphernalia, strange ornaments, and weirdly colored furniture. This room is both an eyesore and an eye catcher. There's plushies all over the bed, and many posters and photos barring uh, the walls. Where the hell- Where the hell is this? What is this? Your memory is a haze of what, what exactly uh, leads up to this moment. Being captured and tied to a chair, all you remember is waking up and your life before waking up. Bef again, you try moving and move. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Again, you try moving uh, the chair or escape the restraints. Nothing. The chair doesn't move and the ribbons don't budge. What are these ribbons made of? As your eyes dart around the room trying to take it all in, the door creaks open. Followed by steps coming closer and closer, each step squeaked like a clown's nose. Until... Until what? Oh! Oh, there she is! It's the girl right there! A zombie, Frankenstein-looking girl, appears in front of you. Her hair is curly, beginning in a pink color and strangely melting into a greenish color. She's covered in stitches from head to toe, accompanied, accompanied with a noticeably odd eye on the right side, one too big and non-human for a face. Good morning! Oh, this is Eula. Eula? Eula? Okay, but that's a very nice name. Well, it's not actually morning. You've already been out for like 10 minutes. But I'd like to say to everyone whenever they wake up because it's always a good morning but uh i'm super sorry about uh you know knocking you out it's not a nice thing to do ever and definitely not the solution of any problem no matter what why did you do that then hon okay so i'm guessing in the story right there so far we were captured by this girl right there and we were taken inside uh inside of this place right there assuming her room i guess she scratches behind her head. She looks generally upset by this. Almost a shame that she took such a course of action. I got super freaked out when I saw a scary stranger in my house. I didn't know what to do, and what are you supposed to do? I don't know. So, uh, you know. As you stare at this girl and she speaks more with a frantic and guilty tone, you begin adjusting to reality again, and the memories begin to slowly fade back in. From what you did your piercing together, the weather outside isn't wasn't great, and you started uh, and you wanted shelter, so you went into a nearest building you could find. 
which happens to be this girl's this apartment complex. Wait, so you mean the sky is just fake? The, the sky's fake over there? Like, it's not actually sunny outside? Uh, oops. She must have knocked you out when she saw you. Tied you up, and now you're here. Tied to a chair with pink ribbons. It wasn't nice, I know. I'm really sorry. But I can make it up to you, a stranger. Well, I'll make it up to you if you deserve it. I still don't know if you're super evil or not. I can't resist an evil supervillain if I caught one early, so I'll have to test you. Then you can be freed. In the ten long minutes, you've been in a deep slumber. I've been thinking very, very hard on my evil tests. Uh, not that my tests are evil, but they test for evil. If you don't pass it any than any thought, I'll test. Well, she looks away straight to the ground, avoiding eye contact completely. I don't really know. I'll hope you will probably politely leave, maybe, or... Her expression turns even more nervous as she squeezes her hands at the bottom of her, sh her shirt. <laughs> yeah, she seems very nervous, I can definitely tell. She either doesn't have a plan to get rid of you, or the plan she does have isn't great. Well, don't worry! As long as you pass my little test, nothing bad will happen, ever! So, just... Don't be evil, and you'll be nice and safe, okay? Let's get started to the test. She looks around for a moment, it appears, it appears she doesn't have, actually have a test yet, and now she's currently making one up. Uh, oh! Your ch ch challenge test is to befriend and have fun with me. Oh, oh, we're gonna go befriend this girl right there, I can definitely tell you. Uh, Eula! That's my name! Yep, we already knew that. We're otherwise known in my circus career as Clownstein, or alternatives to that joke. Oh gosh, oh no! I should have s told you that! Silly, silly, Eula. I can't tell strangers everything. I've been told this over and over again. I I'm too trusting, giving away info always. Uh, forget I ever told you. My name is actually a. Uh, Squeak! Oh, your name's Squeak? Yep, that's my name. Oh, okay then, Squeak. Uh, sure thing. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that, I guess. I've never heard of a Eula in my life, ever. Uh, Eula doesn't sound like a real person to me. Oh my gosh, this girl's just so freaking gullible right there. <laughs> She's hilarious already. I've already messed this up. I was supposed to be intimidating to an interloper. But I just gave you my name and everything. I'm not very good at this intimidating people stuff. N no, I won't let this break it break my spirit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, I really like... Yeah, this girl is just so something. Like, she's just super gullible and just super naive, isn't she? Like, she's just... Like, her color schemes. Like, it's green and pink. That's a really nice, a nice touch right there. I don't have to be intimidating, I just have to find out your nice in a friendly way, not a threatening way. I'll intimidate in the life of you in no way, the friendly way. Let's start a friendship test with icebreakers, how about that? I can fix this information I've been here, okay? Alright, ask questions. Alright, um, <coughs> we have some questions right there, so I guess we, guess, I guess we just have to save it right here. So, uh, what is your favorite color? Yeah, let's just say that. That's a more friendly thing to do. My favorite color? Well, just take a look around. It can't be difficult. That is true. The room is in, 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 in the lobe with pink. The walls, the furniture, decoy, everything is pink, and most things are very pink. Is it pink? Oh. It's pink! Oh yes, I love pink too. Yeah, pink is really such a fabulous color. I love pink, and so you. Oh, I love pink. I love it. Really super awesome, fun colors. So, so full of personality and joy. And I like joy. But second place is yellow, because it reminds me of... Oh. Why? What does yellow remind you of? Lemons? Sunflowers? She pauses and scrunches her face as she answers. She thinks about how she finishes the sentence carefully. Happiness? And the sun, sunflowers, genuine uh, loveliness. Such a kind color. Ah, jeez. Alright, what about you? Do you have a favorite color? Well, definitely it has to be pink, of course. Yay! It's true, isn't it? It's the best color ever! 
It's cute and it works with everything and it's such a happy color and... Hey! Wait! Are you saying that you, to, to agree with me? Don't play with me like that, okay? You have to be honest with me. What? I am honest. Like, what do you mean? Uh, uh, pink is my favorite color and so is yours. I mean, everyone has the same exact, uh, exact favorite color, so what's wrong with that? I don't like people playing games on me. Plus, this is not the time to play games because this is a test and you have to be truthful. You can't be done in the chess. That's rude. But if you are just as really passionate about pink as I am, then this is wonderful. Why don't we try some other friendship bonding? Uh, what else is there? Oh, okay, here's a big question for you. I love birthdays. Birthdays are my fave, uh, fave days of the year. Uh, they are super, uh, special to me. I love my birthday and my friends' birthday. I like to go over the top of their birthdays to make a big, huge celebration. Like, one year for my friend calls me, I got every single purple item I could find because purple is her favorite color, and I put them all in a big room with tons of balloons and a huge cake and a pony I found too. She doesn't ask for a pony, but everyone can go for a pony, and I found one. And she was like, ah, what is this? All this purple and a horse? What the? All she said, what the? She swore, and I really I don't really swore, but I'm sure you can imagine. So in response, he said, This isn't a horse, it's a pony, and I giggled around it and found it super funny. You had to give a pony away afterwards. Oh, well, that's really rude that she makes you get away to give away the pony. I mean, I think the pony's great. She goes slightly red out of embarrassment. Uh, it was a great birthday. Well, red decide, what gift do you would you give me on my birthday? Oh, shoot. Um, hmm. It's super important, by the way, this... Okay, so, gasoline. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's see. A cute plush kitty, a huge pink cake covered in hearts. Um, um I will give you a huge big pink cake covered in hearts. Definitely. Ah! What flavor? What flavor? She jumps up and down at none his answer, leaving the floor multiple times, leaping for joy. She must love birthday cakes. I'm guessing a birthday cake flavor with a jam of icing? My favorite flavor! It tastes like wonderful birthdays and fun memories every year. I'm happy and excited waiting for some birthday cake. Uh, it's not right to get birthday cakes when the birthday isn't there. If you have all the time, then it's not special and it has to be very special. Uh, that's, uh, that's the you uh, squeak rule. You can uh, choose to fall if you want. Uh, you don't have to though because I know birthday cake is the best. I, I just like to have it on special occasions. What if it's truly special? Uh, that was a good answer. I'd be super duper happy if you got that from me. Well, sure thing. There's maybe a chance you can be friend material after all. Maybe even friendly enough to be friend of those ribbons of yours. But not quite yet. I still have questions. So, uh, te or tests, I guess. Alright, what's the uh, next questions you got here? She begins to think again. It still knows the fact that oh, she does in here. Okay, hmm. Ah, uh, let's look around my room. You, we can talk about some of my stuff and uh, discuss and from your reactions, I'll judge your character. Oh, and, and then I'll tell you all about my friends. None of them are here right now because they're busy. Three of my friends stay here with me and two are outgoing and they're going for stuff and another is just... Well, I don't really know what he does. Whatever he ple pleases, I guess. This place houses four people. Oh wow! So basically, she has like roommates in here. So it's just her and three other friends. Huh? Interesting. Four. She pauses and stares at you for a very long, you know, long while. Uh, her eyes gaze over. That is just her unlucky number. She snaps out of it out of the sudden moment. Yes, four of us stay here right now, and you're currently in my little house, room, place. You know. <laughs> the little cute face right there. Let's look around in here then. See how we can find. Alright then. What do you want to look at? Hmm. Let's see what should we look at. We should look at shells. We can look at a chainsaw. Um, we can look at a wardrobe. We can look at posters, photos. Uh, hmm. Uh, can we look at them one at a time? Uh, let's look at the chainsaw because I can notice that. Oh! My chainsaw! I'm so happy you noticed that! I guess it's pretty noticeable. I am, her name is Miss Swing Slash. Bang! <coughs> <sighs> That's her full name. 
The chainsaw, I mean. She's my most prized possession. A chainsaw that's pink with hearts and full of love. She, it seems rather violent for someone to have something covered in pink and hearts. I mean, aesthetically, you could uh, you could customize your chainsaws the way you like it, and I think it looks cute right there. It's so very me. It's, it's exactly everything I am. I'm pink, a little sharp, whatever that means, and full of hearts and love. <laughs> I don't use... I don't normally like to use it because that would make it dirty. It's too cute to be to, to get all muddied and broken. So, I just leave it usually... Unless it's a very special occasion, or I need to use it. Special occasion? Yeah, probably if she wants to go and do some hunting, if you know what I mean. Everything still gets a slice in the end, so it's alright. Well, is that any cake left? Alright then, so that's done right there. So, let's look at the posters. My posters! Ah, uh, well, they're mostly circus or, or theater posters. I love circuses and plays. They're a little similar, like entertainment and stuff here, so I just called a collect a poster set for them. Oh, oh, and this is my fish posters. Oh, my favorite fish creature ever is an anglerfish. Do you see it? Is he on the wall? Uh, what? Well, where? I don't see it anywhere. That the angler. Oh wait, that's an anglerfish. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I noticed that was supposed to be an anglerfish. I was. I thought that was a whole piece of roast chicken. <laughs> what the heck? I love them. So amazing, awesome, the best. They're creepy, but in a cool and kind of cute way to me. Uh-huh, sure, just like you. Definitely, I can definitely see some similarities. There's also some uh, anime and game posters. <laughs> yes, I can definitely see that. I like magical girl shows like friend about friendship. And I like idol shows, especially if all the characters are best friends. I think it reminds me of my friends, how we work together and achieve our dreams. Oh, well, that's nice, at least. Uh, the show reminds you so much of your home life, so that's great. That's too cheesy. We didn't really achieve many dreams together, but we achieved good friendships, and that's basically a dream. In terms of games, I like... I like puzzle games. Oh, and story games, like novels or games where you can be best friends or even romantic with the characters. Oh! For fall breaking. Yeah, I do a bunch of uh, a bunch of visual novels as well. I'm surprised you actually noticed my 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 intentions right there. I'm a little bit bad at hard games though, especially fighting games, especially hard fighting games. Oh yeah, we can definitely relate to that. They're basically impossible to me, but that's okay. I don't really want to fight. I want to make friends instead. Well, that's such a sweetheart. Like she has a heart of gold. Like definitely a heart of gold. Like good on you. In my choice, in my your own story, I choose to keep everyone alive and happy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm. I guess people would find that a little bit boring, though. So I don't care. I need those little NPCs to be happy. She said, uh, shrugged, uh, shrugged out loud. Plus, I give my friends the uh, friends to do the hard stuff for me. If there's a boss, I can, I can boot. Alright. <clears throat> Wait, say, oh. Mary, my girlfriend... She would do it for me, and she'd kill them in seconds. She's really good at the harder games, but she never really made friends with the embassies. She usually kills them all, but opposites uh, attracts, as they say. Going from game to the game shows, I think my favorite character all the time is... Oh. Oh! The Pink Princess! She's the coolest. Oh, what, the Pink Princess? Is that her right there? A magical girl idol, and she wants to be friends with everyone. She's like the ideal life, but unfortunately she's so nice to everyone and helps everyone all the time that she's drained. She helps her friends save the day, performs live, it's all too much for her. If I was her friend, I'd say, don't worry Pink Princess, I'll help you today. Oh well the- but seriously, this girl's wholesome, like why is she so wholesome? But, uh, she's not real, so I guess I don't have to think too much about it. <laughs> Sorry, this whole poster talk was a little embarrassing, was it? Uh, just so they're passionate about these things. Thank you for listening, though. Yeah, no problem. It's not like you have much choice. Ugh, jeez, that was hard. Alright, now let's go to the photos. Let's see. My photos! Yes, yes! Uh, the photos over here are my all my friends. Oh, so those are all your friends right there? Oh, they look nice right there. There's a framed photo of each friend 
I guess this is probably weird, but I like to have a photo of all of them. On the first left is a Poca Pocahalia. Ooh, that's a very exotic name. She's really sweet and kind, super gentle. She got four legs for extra hugging. She's just the cutest and most uh, kind of considerate friend around. She always rem remembers your favorite things, what makes you happy, and always knows exactly what to say to help you feel better. I wish I had her level of kindness, if only I was that amazing. But she's also uh, super shy, and a very a little emotional. Her eyes always cry. It makes me feel so sad, but she says that it's just how she naturally looks. Oh, Oh yeah, I can definitely tell that her eyes are like bug-like, that's something. But it is still makes me so sad. I don't want to see her cry. The one next to her is Cosme. She's super cool. Maybe a little rude and crude though. Oh yeah, the one you've already mentioned before. She likes to swear and use bad language a lot. I'm not really a really fan of sw uh, swears. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't really swear at all. No real reason, apart from I don't want to sound mean or scary or intimidating. I don't think I could actually be super entertaining, no. And she's a little mean to people. Not me, though. She's always so loving and kind-hearted to me. Well, that's good, at least. I think she's just tough to get through. And once you get to know her, she's the best. She's, uh, she's, <clears throat> Excuse me. She's Pokiatas' uh, best friend ever. They're always together. Even right now. They're away looking for stuff together. Stuff like clothes, decor, you know? Next to her is Eyeball. Eyeball? Uh, uh, he says his name is Eyeball. But it's just a nickname. He won't tell, uh, tell me his real name because he sucks. Oh, so... Oh yeah, it's one of those. Like, he just uses his nickname as his own name. I see, okay. I'm kidding. I actually think he's pretty cool. He's my newest friend here. I've known the rest of us for years and years since childhood, but I only met him a while ago. But he's, a uh, controversial, I guess. He's a, he's a public enemy. My friends are too fond of him, but I really think he's great. I understand why they wouldn't like him. Outwardly, he appears, uh, the, excuse me. It appears super mean, selfish, unlikable, annoying, but to me, he's the best friend ever. He's a little awkward and strange, too. I'm not saying a lot of things about him here, but I do promise he's great when he get, when you get to know him. If you get to know him, he's difficult to even befriend. Last in the photo is... Oh. What? That's, uh, Mary. Oh, Mary? My, uh... My girlfriend, Mary. Oh, your, your girlfriend. Well, why why did you go on silent when you mentioned her? I could say a lot about Mary. She's perfect, amazing, talented. She is the best performer to ever live. She did all kinds of stunts and tricks for me. She lived to make me happy. She lives to make everyone excited and happy with her stunts and tricks, especially me. Oh. New friend, she's perfect. Uh, well, that's all of them. Yeah, those are really nice friends right there you've got there. All right, let's try the wardrobe. My, she seems to zone out for a moment. Her eyes stare, and stare past you into the infinite abyss, as if she's looking everything ever once. Wardrobe? Why do you interested in that? It's just clothes, and I don't know more plushes too. Nothing interesting really. Uh, what kind of clothes do you have, or... What kind of clothes do you have? Let, let's ask that. Uh, pink ones. Clown ones. Everything uh, bright, really. You know, cute, bright, colorful, that's all I like. The weirder, the better. I also like shorts. I only wear shorts, uh, shorts, shorts here and everything. Okay. Maybe some colorful layer. Oh, God. Alright, last but not least, we have here are shelves. My shelves? I keep some of my fun collections in there. I collect a few that I can find and most of the stuff here. Alright, alright, alright. Some eyes figures and everything else. Alright, clown dolls and everything. Oh, brother. Well, I will stick to my, my bias forever and ever. The clowns are the best and everything is creepy and scary. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Alright, I think that's all of them for now. I've already looked at everything. I think that's all of my room tour. 
Not the biggest and most interesting room, but it's me, and that's all that matters. Huh. I don't know if I feel friendly enough for you yet to let you free. free. Maybe one last challenge? A special last challenge for the sake of trust and fun. Well, what can I do? Uh... Oh! Oh! Can I ask you some questions? Some final questions? I guess you don't actually have much choice. I'm gonna ask anyways. Alright, well, if that's gonna be that way, then let's hear it. Alright, what's your favorite animal? Alright, Grotex Fowl, Venus, and oh my god. Alright, what is my favorite animal ever? Cat, of course. Oh, I love kitties! She lifts off the ground and dances around a little as she, as she says this. Meow, meow, meow! They make the best noises ever, meow, meow! And when they purr happily as you pet them, so, so cute! I wish I owned a kitty. I think I uh, they they'd be they be beneficial for my life, but my friend Code uh, Kosam is allergic. Oh well, that's that's unfortunate. I ra but and I rather my friend uh, and I'd rather my friend than a kitty, even if I love kitties. Although I say she's kind of like a little like, like a kitty though. You know she's a little mean like Caspi, and she's small but also very friendly at times. It's hard to explain, actually, but she's totally like a cat person, but not like someone who owns cats, but is a cat. Uh, does that make sense? Mm, a little bit, I guess. If not, I'm not explaining. <laughs> as silly and cheerful as ever. Well, thank you for answering my answer to my animal question. Very insightful. I'm already getting a clear picture of you. Is it good or bad? Who knows? <laughs> here, here. Next question. If you are uh, a micro micro trainer, what would you be? Wait, what? Excuse me. What is that word you said? Um, micro to the micro chair. Wait, why are you asking me that question? Uh, okay then. Uh, this one. Uh, Amnibly. Wouldn't it be awesome to be a single cell thing that just wiggles around and consumes? No thoughts, comparison, nothing beyond consuming existing in the times. Pretty awesome. That doesn't sound awesome at all. Also, I think they're cute. Have you seen them? Uh, they're so wonderful, fun shapes. What are you saying? You're a Microsoft Q consuming single cell life form? That does seem to accurately describe you. Good choice. You're totally an amnibi kind of person to me. Oh, well, that's nice, at least. She claps her hands together with the happiest joy, da 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 happy smile you'll ever, you've ever you ever seen. Even if she's just basically insulted you in a strange way. She seems to think it was a huge compliment. What even is an Imbuli kind of person? I have no idea, but let's just keep going. Ah. <sighs> she scratches her neck slightly as she ponders. I think you're nearly ready for your results, if you can leave or not. And I'm not going to ask one, but I'm going to ask one final question. Very important question, because asking three questions is better than two. It's a better number. Okay, what is it? Here's my final question. What's your fave circus act? Oh, brother. Fave circus act? Mildly strange question, but coming... All right. <coughs> All right, then. Well, that basically is... Probably a pretty personal question right there. I do not know, but let's just think about this through this. Well, I'm assuming that while well, she's a clown and circuses have involved with so many clowns and other stuff here. I mean, trapeze acts are pretty good there, but let's say, uh, clowns. Yes, of course, clowns. You could totally be living and living to appeal me, but I'm going to trust your goodwill here because it is a very good answer. Clowns' performance are so goofy, wacky, silly, funny, all other words that relate to silly, etc. Isn't it just good fun to watch people stumble around, do crazy, uh, do crazy tricks, like juggling and do silly pranks? Plus, I love clown outfits. The canonically oversized uh, dais costumes that uh, outfits they usually wear is the best. Here I was a clown. I wore the super oversized uh, shorts, the ones with uh, web spectaculars, and they're very fashionable. To me, at least. I probably sound a little obsessed. I like talking about stuff I, uh, I like a lot. You probably noticed that already. 
I hope it doesn't bother you, new friend. Well, of course not. It doesn't. You're just expressing your own stuff here, and that's totally fine. <clears throat> I'm glad you enjoy clowns too, though. I knew I could trust you to have great taste. Uh, do you think that's enough information gathering for now? Okay, so did I do good? I basically did some pretty good stuff right there, right? Yeah, probably. <clears throat> she comically with it and with it with exaggeration. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. She comedically and with exaggeration shrugs. Allow me to compile all the information I've gotten from you and make the final decision on your freedom. All right, she turns around and looks around the room, lost in thought. She's thinking very hard in this in this choice. She does see a cartoonish gesture of scratching her chin while thinking hard as she paces back and forth the small room. Honestly, I think you've done super well in learning my trust. I mean, I just think you're kind of cool and neat. I know I should have trusted a stranger this easily, but well... You've become a friend, not a stranger. Oh, that's great to know. So, it's okay if I trust you, I think. She gives a, a large, cheery smile as she squeaks over to untie your restraints. She, be she quickly begins untying the restraints of an eager speed. She's excited to release you. Then, you feel the ribbons gently fall to the ground. Nice, and we're free! You're free! Yay! I'm free! Awesome! She holds your hand to help you up. You accept and tender up slightly. Did you enjoy your visit? Your thoughts? Feelings? All positive? You nod. Yay! If you enjoy yourself so much, uh, you wouldn't mind staying a little longer, right? I uh, think we can maybe be real friends. Friends who didn't meet when one broke into the other's house. Like, real life, real friends? That might just be me being too forward, though. I'm sorry. But if you stay, we can play games and have a slumber party with my friends and get home. Doesn't that sound super duper fun and you probably wouldn't want to miss it? Hmm, that sounds enticing. We just met this girl and she's offering us to stay here. It sounds like I'm trying to keep you here. I'm not. You can leave and uh, you want a friend? A friendship then? You say so and smile. You hope the anticipation of this move is clear. Yeah! So you really do want to say? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what does it want to do? We can play some games until they get to get home. When we can we can have a slumber party. She brings out a, a little game device and shows you the scene. This is my character I made. Their name is Cheese. They're so cool that I don't want to say that it was a secret evil villain. They're pretty much the coolest thing in this game. They're, the, they're who I'm playing as in this game. Basically, the game is like... Uh, she begins to go into another long talk about this game. By the time the time uh, dust finds, she's barely made any progress in game. She's just too busy explaining every character, theme, plot, element in this game. Holy moly, that must have been so... Oh my god, it's just already is nighttime already. Like, jeez, the weasels, that's a lot of stuff, man. The, the, the significant amount of time passes and she continues to talk. However, she stops when she did it when there is a, t a click on the door. Oh. Oh my gosh, finally! Friends! Oh, friends! She leaps up and bolts away to the way in the, in the room so quickly you barely understand what just happened. Uh oh. There's a little bit of little faint squeaks in her and in her shoes. Uh, outside and inside the room, you could hear her excitedly yell, Oh my gosh, hi guys, you'll never believe this! Followed by the sounds of multiple footsteps returning to the room. Yula, hey, Yula enters first, happier than you've ever seen her before. Oh boy. My friends! Now we can have a slumber party! Oh brother, yes. Two girls enter behind Yula. One, who you assume as a Kusam from the, the from the photos, is a short girl with black hair that goes into various colors uh, gradients. She also has a bug-like wings and a halo above and above her head. 
The other girl was naturally much far taller, like the like the pu the pu Kalia was from the photo the photos you saw. She had large butterfly wings and bug-like eyes, and like Mula said, they are full of tears. Oh brother. Oh wow, and there's everyone right there. Look at them. Yep, they're very distinguished right there. We're having a slumber party with a stranger? The, n the new friend isn't a stranger. This person here is a new best friend. Yes, I bet so. Really? Yes, I promise. Eula, I saw this as your friend. You can't just keep trusting random people. Which is advice you really haven't taken ever. Uh, but it's because I want to be the friendly with everyone. Everyone is a possible friend. Everyone? I'd rather die than be friends with everyone. Oh, that's not true. You love friends. I love a very select few people. People don't who don't make me want to rip out my hair or beat the crap out of them. You're just saying that. I, I say it because I mean it. Come on. Come on, Cosme. Why don't you give this a chance? I'm sure we can have so much fun. We will. I promise, uh, Pinky. Pinky swear and everything along those lines. Ugh. Sure, whatever. Who cares? I like uh, having a slumber freaking parties with strangers. Cosme. Uh, no, no, I promise. I'm so excited. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about her new friend. She's just cautious. Yeah, bet she does right there. She definitely is very cautious indeed. Yeah, these designs are very exotic, I dare say. Uh, po uh, Pokihala uh, grabs uh, Sukosme with two uh, with the two arms of her left side, holding her like you would uh, you would a pet. What are you doing? Holding you just in case. Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh oh boy! This <laughs> this is that that sounds pretty bad. Put me down! I think we're ready for the slumber party. Not true! Put me down! <laughs> oh my gosh, these girls are just having way too much fun. Ah, Yuma skips around and begins uh, again grabbing various I I fun items around the room, including board games, discs, and other bags full of what you assume uh, slumber party activity stuff. I'm so excited! I don't know where the, the, where we last had a slumber party last week. <laughs> yeah, last week, of course. So uh, far too long. A whole week? That's like asking me to go without oxygen. Uh huh. Well, I enjoy them anyway, so it's fine. And I love them too. We listen to my playlist all night. I I, I don't don't want to listen to your crap boy bands again. What? Why not? They are very, very good. Very, very cheesy. Yeah, they're a little cheesy, but I think that's what makes them so fun. If it makes you happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, guys. We gotta get out of that slumber party on. No more time to chatting. You must know, slams a huge board game onto the ground in the middle of the room. Let's stay up all night with our new friend. Playing games and movies, talking about crazy gossip and funny moments. What crazy gossip do we possibly have, Yula? Oh, like our crushes and dramas and fights we've that we've had in our fave characters, and we can argue of which our faves is the best. Most of uh, the most of that is not gossip. Oh, but I do want to talk about all of that very pretty much. And oh my, we can make a cross stitch of our new friend. I have to do that for everyone. New friend, what's your favorite colors? Favorite animals? Shapes? Themes? Goodness, I'm so excited. There's so much we could do. I can give this friend cute clothes and makeup gifts and... Adioka, you're being just like you love. Uh, we can't give all of this to a stranger. But it's very fun. <gasps> Ugh. Well, you're not getting anything out of me, Bunnell. <laughs> ah, Cosme! I promise, new f I 
promise you, friend. She is going to have lots of fun. She just doesn't want to act like she loves somber parties. Whatever. Yeah, sure thing. Let's just start the game, okay? My turn first. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I bet so. End. Slumber party. Oh, yep. So we got here the girls. We met the girls right there and just we're just playing some games right there. Yeah, this art is really nice. I really got to admire the art set of the artist who did this. So yeah, great job. Great job on this one right there. Rubbo. Um, let's say trapeze acts. Oh! Trapeze acts are very, very cool. Full of talented uh, performers. My friends were, were a trapeze duo. Known as the Bug Sisters. They're not sisters, of course, but it's a good duo name for them, I think. But as much as I like trapeze, I have to say it is super scary to watch. Like, sickly, uh, so scary to watch. I get, um, I get super nervous watching stuff if it's a, pret a potential uh, chance of getting, end up here someone getting hurt, if it's in movies and games or something. It's like so anxiety inducing. Uh, seeing people do really, uh, do really scary stunts. I can't help the idea of people getting hurt, I just feel too horrible and bad. When a character gets hurt in the, in the movie, I always wish I could run in and help. Because it makes me feel so bad, horrible, guilty. I can't let anyone be in such horrible pain if I had the chance to help. Uh, what I'm saying is, I was banned uh, from watching the trapeze acts at the circus because I kept yelling and yelping during the performance. I freaked out too much. I was also in here and up here. Oh, so she has some experiences with that, so I'm guessing she doesn't really like this friend. Oh, I mean, I just I just don't know you well enough, and I know I've been testing you a bunch, but you know, I can't just let a stranger free. What if you try something crazy? What then? But what else can I do? Test you more? No, no, that will no, get us nowhere. But what? Uh, oh, thank you, La. Hmm. We'll just have to wait until one of my friends comes back. Well, we can uh, deal with you together. Oh, a friend, you say? Yep, yep! That sounds like a plan! We will just wait here and see who comes through the, my door. What, to, uh, pass the time, I'm going to play some games. She paces over to her bed and pulls out a device from underneath a weird, a, a weird uh, places to keep a, 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 a gaming console. But you guess it's a, she's a weirdly organized person anyways, but it's not too surprising. She lies on the edge of the bed with her and her arms hanging out from the office of the edge so she can play the game. Her legs are kicking back and forth. I'm sure someone will come back anytime now, new friend. Don't worry. Well, you might have to worry depending on what friend comes home first. There's a slight chance that the wrong person for you will come in, but don't worry, that's not terrible odds. But don't fret. Okay, so I guess we're just waiting for someone to come in? Like who, exactly? I don't know. But it's not working. Uh, what's with these ribbons? Are they made of stone iron? Yeah, I don't even know why the ribbons are actually hard to get out of. That shouldn't make any sense. You keep attempting. All night. Despite of Ayuma saying someone would come home soon and everything, okay. Wait, where's the chainsaw? The chainsaw's gone! Gee, I really thought someone would be they would be home by now. You don't think anyone anything bad happened to them, do you? Oh no no. What if they have been kidnapped or worse? I've been playing games and I have been playing silly games and I'm such a bad, bad friend. There's a click echo in the front of the front of the front of the apartment. Well, Eula definitely hears. Oh. <gasps> oh, thank goodness! Oh. She stumbles off her bed and runs and runs the claws to, did it crawls to the room door. Opens and runs completely out of sight. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Who is she trying to get? You can only now hear the faint squeaks of her shoes as she runs. Then, there's talking. It's distant. You can vaguely make out Eula's voice and another person talking back to her. The other person has an accent, and a scientifically calmer sounding than a fragment upbeat silly Eula. They speak back and forth for a while, muffled and distant, until you hear the squeaks of Eula's shoes and the crackling of heels. Heels? 
They're getting closer. And closer. Closest. Oh, but yeah, I can definitely tell you that much. You know, walks in first, seeming far happier than when she walked out. No friend! My friend is help! And he said he will help with our, our predicament! Uh-oh. What, who's the friend right there? Who is it? Oh, she said he. So there's only one he in there. I'm guessing it's probably one of the friends that she has mentioned. I don't know. Behind her, a significantly taller man walks in. Yes. I know just the solution. Hello? Oh! Hello, sir. What's up? Oh, a man with completely paper white skin and hair along with a signature eye begins to speak. Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Hello, eyeball. Yeah, I still cannot get over the, with the name right there. Eula was just informing me that she had a guess and she wasn't sure just how she'd get rid of them. Now, I think I might know how to do it. Oh boy, oh boy! But before you get rid of our new friend, why don't you befriend them first, Eyeball? Oh, brother, oh, you trying to be... Um, bro, I don't think that's really such a good idea. I mean, what if he's, like, plotting something for my getting rid of it? Like, what do you mean? Uh, I see no point in that. Uh, it's for... It's formalities! It's nice! Our new friend here is pretty fun! He rolls his eye and makes a uh, sort of scorchful little scowl in his idea. He doesn't seem to have much time for you. Well, my name is Eyeball. You may or may not already know that. From er from either Eula, the, or the wanted posters. The wanted posters, you mean? Oh yeah! I forgot! You're like a celebrity! Some would say that. I kept a few of your wanted posters if you really want them. You have? Well, I, I just think it's funny that, that my friend is on a wanted poster. Your bounty is huge, by the way. What, he has a criminal on the record? Well, that can't be good. I'm aware, and yet no one has gotten me yet. You're just... You're just too good! Too smart. Too evil. That's exactly it. I am just too calculated. Too convincing and scheming. Too malicious and spiteful. Are we going to be here all day? Um, well, ahem. <clears throat> I am Eyeball, and that's all I feel you need or deserve to know. Now, let's get to business. He grabs the back of the chair you tied to. Don't worry, don't worry at all. I have no ill intent here. Uh, okay, I guess he's just taking me- Wait, where, where are you taking me, sir? Just doing my eyeball tasks. He says with the most malicious, uh, ad expression you have said you have seen in your life. Bye bye, eyeball! How long will you take? Oh, not even a moment. He drags your uh, chain along. Along all the way from Yolos' room, she politely waves you goodbye. You cannot wave back due to your restraints. Oh no, I don't like the look of this. I don't know what he's going to do to me. This is not good, guys. He slams Yunus' room door behind him, then continues to drag you out of throughout the apartment halls, dragging you down each step instead of taking the elevator. Bro, like, he's just taking me down the stairs? So, what brings you here anyways? How did you end up in this place? Must have been poking around, unfortunately. Must have been poking around. Unfortunately, there's not much interesting happening around here. Well, not for you. You sense whatever is about to happen when you exit this building, you won't enjoy. You haven't known these people for long, and yet I do so. So much for my new best friend, Eula. Such as dealing with interlopers like you. Uh... What do you think about her? What do you do? You roll your job here? Uh, what do you think? Oh, what do we say here? If one don't know. Uh, what do you think about Eula? Yeah, let's ask her that. I'm fond of her. She's kind. Overly kind. Selfless, I would say. Which is the opposite of myself. I never do anything for anyone. Well, I suppose that depends. 
but as a general rule, I wouldn't. She believes in the best in people, which is a simplistic view, but it's a very loving one. She is very passionate and motivated for everyone. Her, most, her positively can be rather infectious, but I suppose that is what you aim for as a performer. That is my thought on Yuma. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, do you need to know any other pointless information, or is that, or is that enough for you? The face he made tells you everything you need to know. He doesn't want to answer any more questions. It is really kind of you to kindly re. Ugh. Want to learn learn about me, even? Sadly, I just don't care for you or your questions. So be quiet now, okay? Why are you being so mean, man? Don't be rude. Eyeball as drags you out of the front door, finally getting a breath of fresh air again. Oh boy, we're outside. Ooh, it's already night nice sky already. He slowly closes the door behind him. I suppose this is us at the end of our journey together. He stands over you, looking over. There's a very despicable look in his eye. What? What's up? Let's see. What do you think about... Let's see. What do you think is about to happen? Guess correctly and... Actually, nothing will change. Never mind. <laughs> Whatever. He reaches into his shirt jacket. He grabs something. Well, what does he get? Sir? What? Ibo pulls a gun directly in your forehead. Well, bro! What? Excuse me? Well, what are you- Why are you trying to kill me? Mate! What are your last words? Friend? Bro- Ugh, actually, I don't want to freaking hear them. They wouldn't be good anyways. Next time, don't wander into someone's home. In other life- in another life, maybe you will remember that lesson. Bro, he gives a wide smile before pulling the trigger. Bro, don't! Don't do it! Don't do it! Bro! Bang! <coughs> Bro, he just freaking shot me! Why? What did I ever do to deserve this matter? That's terrible, man. End. Lesson learned. Bro, he's already covered in my blood, man. That that maniac, what a what a maniac right there! What what what's wrong with you? Why do you gotta be like this? Why why? I'm not sure exactly as to how this works, but let's see here. I think that you oh can leave. Oh yay yay cheering! I come to came to that decision with all the wonderful information I have carefully obtained with a very smart detective. All she did was ask questions, usually pretty simple ones. So, you're safe to be my friend and leave. Isn't that cool and awesome? Oh, yes, I bet it is. She squeaks over to our large pink covered in hearts chainsaw. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what are you doing with the chainsaw? Excuse me? Just give me a sec. Uh, she picks it up and uh, stares in awe at it for a moment. She's not using that to cut the ribbon, right? Now, I use this for special events, as I told you, and I'd say that it is a my new friend's release from Rivens is a pretty special moment. Uh, oh no, she's got it. <gasps> bro, she's got the chainsaw, bro! Wait, 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 don't do anything, silly! What, what are you doing? So I'm gonna use her for this! But don't worry, I'm not a fool! Well, I am technically a fool as a clown, but I mean, I'm not foolish enough to hurt you! I promise no friends will be harmed in the making of this freedom. Okay, here I go. Wait. Oh my gosh, wait. Hold on, save for just a second real quick. All right. Well, normally I would say to say, uh, okay, so we got two options here. We can say, yeah, freedom or please just untie me. Hmm. All right, so we'll do two of these here to see. Let's just say, yay, freedom. One. Let's do this new friend. Oh. Freedom! Her chainsaw loudly roars and yells as she gleefully begins to take her swing, possibly losing herself in the moment. Oh no. What? Excuse me? And she begins to cut the ribbon. And it works! The ribbon successfully comes off. Unfortunately, that's not all that comes off. What? 
As she raves her chainsaw, she overly enthusiastically swings the weapon right into you. You realize maybe making her more excited wasn't a great idea. If it was, you'd still be in one piece. Oh god, her chainsaw sliced through your body from top to your shoulder, down to your thigh. It appears she slightly... She, she was slight... <clears throat> It appears she was slightly too close when swinging the weapon. As you feel the sharp, agonizing pain go down your body, you fell, then fell heavily onto the ground. It feels like blood pours out of every office uh, you have. The agony is unbearable. Your vision begins to blur and fade as you hear fate yelling and screaming. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! What have I done? Everything I I do, I mess it up. Uh, dumb, 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 Eula. If my friends were here, they would have stopped this. She begins to wail and cry. She can, you can hear a trembling sorrow of her in her voice. Ah! Oh, oh no. Yep, she's crying. She realized what she did. She basically killed me. No matter what I do, I messed everything up. It's always my fault. <laughs> she whimpers in and in and carols. Her voice and her voice breaks from all the screaming. Oh no. Her cries begin to slowly fade forward and for her cries begin <clears throat> Her cries begin to slowly fade further and further away, along with your vision. Bro, you didn't hear this music? The the music. What the heck is up with this music? That's so weird, so weird sounding of music right there. Everything begins to go silent. And everything turns dark. I'm sorry! Oh. <gasps> oh gosh. That is pretty gruesome right there. End. Cut in two. Oh. <laughs> it just translated to this. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Alright, this time let's just say, please untie me. Don't cut me open. Just like you did last time. Oh. She faces her chainsaw back to the down to the ground. Uh, untie it? I guess I could. That's a lot less fun the fun and special, though. But I get your fear. I'll untie it just for you, new friend. Yula takes it and uh, places the chainsaw onto the ground very gently, as if it were a favor of a fragile uh, vase or a uh, small animal. Then begins to gingerly untie the weapon with a ribbon in the bag. It feels like I'm pulling it around ribbon here and there. Hmm. Uh-oh. Um. Yay! That's it! The ribbons fall to the fall to the ground beneath beneath you. You're free to leave, new friend. Thank you for proving your trust. Oh, it was actually nice to have a new friend around here. Anyways, I do really like talking talking to people, even strangers who break into my home. I've just got so much to say, you know, uh, about so much stuff. I hope you enjoy your stay, and I hope you enjoy talking to me too. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Leave. You did enjoy your stay, probably. You give a you little hug, a thank you for giving it to give you this time. It says it's now your time to leave. Ah, thank you for your uh, unexpected visit. You get to leave my obey to the maid free because of your kindness. See, isn't it so nice and rewarding to be normal and kind? You get to leave a stranger's home. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you had fun. The way she's staring at you gives Hetty the heavy hints of, please, can you leave now? Which makes sense. You've totally overstayed your welcome. You take it, take a very subtle hint and begin walking out of her apartment. Oh, so that's it right there? While walking, you stop to turn around to give her a friendly wave goodbye and Nula does the same in return. You might have only met her once and most likely never again. But, she does truly uh, feel like a friend, even for just a short moment. Even if you may never meet her again, ever, at least you had the short time with her after breaking into her house. Fate has weird ways of working. Bye bye, Eula. Thanks for the say. Ah, end. A wa- a <clears throat> End. An awkward extend exchange. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, you can see her just waving goodbye. 
Yeah, she she just said uh, she's just waving goodbye. We left her house and we're just gone and free and all that. So that's basically another ending down. All right, so there it is right there. Yep, there's another ending right there. So we can definitely open the wardrobe and see what happens. Open the wardrobe and I want to see it. So what's inside the thing with Jake? I want to see what the heck is inside there. Yuma was awfully the defensive about her wardrobe. If it was truly so boring, surely she just shows you if she had nothing to hide. Your curiosity was piqued too much. Now that you're free, you can take the chance to take a, uh, take a look inside. You stared at Eula for a moment, as she awkwardly stares back. She could, she's clearly waiting for you to leave. You, you feel a slight edge of guilt, as she's shown nothing but kindness thus far, but curiosity overrides morals. You scream in the opposite... You scream in the opposite direction of the wardrobe really loudly, proclaiming, Oh my freaking god, what is that? Uh, the, sudden, the sudden yelling deeply alarms Eula. She jumps at first and at first out of shock and, the, and the, the possesses what just happened for a moment before turning uh, turning around. What, 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 what's there? While she is in panic, you shove her, to the, shove her and lunge to straight to the wardrobe. Yula Dendela seems to give no chase. She's uh, likely still in shock from what... <clears throat> She's still in shock from, from some stranger yelling at her and shoving her. You reach the door. You hold the handle. Uh-oh. What are we gonna find in here? Excuse me? But for a mere moment, you get an intense dread. As if you're about to open a portal to hell. A horrific smell washes over you, too. Is that the smell... Is the smell a fragrant of your imagination because of this fear? Or is this something super weird in there? The guilt and worry begins to consume you. Is this really a good idea? She told you not to bother, but... Oh, no. Well, what are, you gonna, what are we gonna do? Do we do this, or do we actually do it? Oh, wait. Hold well, we've come this far here, so let's open it and see what happens. The dread isn't good in a good The red the dread isn't enough to stop you. You have to know. You have to. Oh god, I don't like the look of this. I don't know. I don't I don't like what we're gonna get ourselves into. Well, we gotta see it for ourselves. Your hand clenches the handle. You begin to open the wardrobe. As you opened it, you hear a shaking voice yell. Please! Stop that! Her hand grabs your shoulder, but it's already too late. The door flies open. What? Something falls on top of you, out of the wardrobe. Something very heavy. Something that smells horrendous. You can't see much. Whatever is on top of you is too heavy for you to move it yourself. Yula screams. Ah! I can't believe this! Her voice is shaken. She grabs the thing on top of you and begins to roll it off, hoisting, hoist, hoisting it into her arms. As it's lifted off, you're able to get a good look at this heavy item. What is it? What is that? Um, excuse me? You don't know what that is at all. What have you done? Please just listen to people. Do you hate me? Or something? Are you out to get me? Do you not listen to me because you hate me? Why would you do something like this? She's tearing up. What the heck is that? What is that that, that she's holding right there? That's, that's That looks like a demonic creature right there. She holds this figure very close, holding her arms underneath both of its arms, hugging it as she cries into its head. Why didn't you listen? Her voice begins to become quieter and quieter as she speaks, as if she's struggling to speak. The thing she's crying into appears to be a corpse of some kind, but not one you've ever seen before. It's covered in very fragments, strange stitching, which fastens together various skins and flesh. The face, or what you think is a face, has two displaced eyes, a huge dog-like mouth, and a misplaced nose too. Oh yeah, this looks that looks like a really good job right there. Whatever this is, it's horrible to look at. 
Yula pulls it close to her and they're further away from you as she buries herself in its hair. Why? 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 Oh my god, you look at her eyes. <laughs> her eyes are going crazy, man. I don't get it. Please! People don't like listening to me. Maybe I'm too nice. I should have just kicked you out when I had the chance. Or maybe... I don't know. Oh, but what if you woke up and hurt me like I kicked you out? I don't want to get hurt. She holds a, cor a corpse even closer, hugging for dear life. Everyone hurts Eula. Because she's kind and won't listen to anything. She's too kind, too annoying, too much of a nuisance. But Mary never wanted to hurt me. She wanted to make me happy. Mary always wants to help. Mary, she would tell me everything isn't my fault. That I don't deserve all the bad things. But then, Mary was killed. Oh, so is that supposed to be Mary? Wait, she's dead? What? Why is she- Oh, that's a little bit dark. So that's why she was silent. That, that because she didn't like talking about her because she's already dead. You stopped her inside of the closet? Does your friends even know that? Like, what? And this is Mary now. Yeah, she looks something like that. Like, yeah, she looks really much of a keeper right there. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to bring her back. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're doing really good. The way that I live, I know I can bring her back. If I just rebuild, I can have Mary again. And she can tell me everything is okay and that I'm doing things well. She can make me happy again. She looks up at you, finally looking you in the eyes. Do you think this is wrong? To want to bring back your lover? It's okay if you do. I'm used to people thinking I'm weird. Gross. A weird girl. That's okay. She kindles Mary's corpse and she holds her. She whimpers in the ground. She lost everything she had before. Her joy, enthusiasm. There's no way someone could be comforted in the state. She's just cal coloring over Mary. Yes, unlike in movies, her tears are not bringing the lifeless corpse back to life. What a sad sight. You stand up, grounding yourselves after having a limp corpse land onto you. As you stare down at Eula, she's completely avoid looking at you. You begin walking out, occasionally turning your head to stare at the side behind you. You never think she had a corpse hidden away. Her happiness would bring you to be. Her happiness would make you believe she was the happiest girl in the world. Sorry, Eula. Cowardly mess. Well, wow, that was really sad. I totally did not expect her to actually hide her 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 late lover in the in the closet. Like, wow. I mean, that's really grim, but also really sad at the same time. But how is she, how did she die? Like, I don't know how she even died exactly. Like, we need to know the answers to that question. Okay, so while recording this, I did realize that there is actually one more ending we can get right there. I didn't even think I was going to get all the endings in this game. Like, I didn't even know this game was going to be all that much and all that. So, it's really crazy that it just went from being happy to now being a little bit sadistic and pretty grim. Like, it's just, it's just uh, time flies so fast. Like, they're like, oh my gosh. Alright, so I don't think we asked, are you undead? Yeah, basically, that's the only thing we haven't even said. Undead? Uh, no, not really. Not technically. I was born without any zombie looks, but as I grew older, I, uh, well, I got as I, I got as I grew older, I just became more zombie-like. I'm just made up of rotten flesh now. Not, no fresh skin or meat in sight. Oh, well, what happened to you? I want to know as to what happened to you. Like, were, did you get killed? Like, did somebody revive you? But it doesn't bother me anymore. I like being, uh, unique. You have, uh, learned to love yourself and stuff, so... Do you think I look weird? Oh my- There's only one answer to that? Oh god, I don't really want to say that stuff here, but we'll just say yes, since that's the only thing I'm a jig right there. 
She jokes back to back slightly as her expression turns into an unsettling frown, but she uh, she attempts to cover it up with an awkward smile. That's okay, I'm a little strange, and that's cool. Being weird is cool. Plus, all my friends think I'm really kind and sweet and cute, uh, that I'm actually friendly. But I do get why you'd maybe find me a little off-putting. Being a scary zombie stitched up, I guess that could be off-putting for anyone. For a while, I really did think I was super weird. Kids at the circus sometimes uh, bully me a little. But now I think I'm cool, it's cute. Being a cool zombie, it's fashionable and unique. So maybe I'm a little weird, but I'm also very unique. It's okay, I'm okay. She avoids eye contact as she had a consoles herself in her mind, assembly and heavily. Hmm, yeah, so I think we're gonna probably break her in this matter. Alright, so let's try out some negative rates right there. So, uh, let's do gasoline. Gasoline? That's not a very nice gift. A very weird one, too. I don't want to burn anything or anyone. Burning isn't a fun way to go. It hurts my skin, melts you, your skin peels up, chars, melts. You scream, but you've already charred. It's nothing left of you. I don't like that gift, is what I'm saying. It's not very kind, cute, or friendly. You want me to release you, right? You have to prove you're safe and nice. Her mind went straight to burning and ended up burning in people. How about gasoline for a car? It's as if she thinks its only purpose is to harm something or someone. Uh, sense of self. Let's try that one. What's that supposed to mean? Are you just, just saying weird stuff to freak me out now? You're really confusing me, new friend. I, I know myself. That doesn't even sound like a gift. I was thinking, uh, you know, like balloons or, you know, presents. Not weird, vague stuff. You're being very weird. Uh, yeah, this is gonna get really weird right there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You're super freaking me out, you know. You stare deeply at Yuna right, uh, right through her. You see someone behind her happy, positive. You see someone who's bound here, a selfless and self self effect. Myself here. I'm. Listen. I'm. Uh, stop, stop! Get out of my head! You're really messing me uh, with me, and I don't like that. This trial has been ruined now. You have scared Eula. No, I... Uh, what was my name again? Uh, it doesn't matter, you failed your trial. Saying weird, vague, weird stuff. Uh, she stared at you with a satin, pondered expression as she tries to puzzle her together punishment. Uh-oh. Well, what the- well, it seems like we failed the test, so what's gonna happen now? Yuna looks all over the, all around her room for ideas. Up, down, side, side. Until her eye catches onto a certain object hung on the wall. She begins to walk away. She grabs a large pink hard-covered chainsaw off the, off the wall. I think you know what's coming. Oh, no. I don't like doing this. I actually don't want to do this. I'm not violent, new friend. That's not right. No one should ever be hurt. Everyone deserves happiness. Kindness. But, uh, well... I don't really know what else to get rid of you. Any ideas? She's asking you for ideas? Uh... What do I say here? Release me and I'll just walk out or just kill me. Bro, why, why would I say that, man? Uh, well, we've already did this whole situation. Like, we already left. So, uh... What happens if we say that? You okay with that? Are you for sure? No, uh, you know, don't even think about such, about doing such violent, uh, evil things. That's not like me at all. Uh, I'm sorry, little friend. I can't kill you even if I wanted to. Please, bro. If we're just literally begging for it, man. No, no. You're trying to get into my head again. Mess with me. Don't do that. Please. Please. Uh, no, 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 come on! I can't kill someone! I can't! That's not the Eula way! The Eula way is kindness and joy! Stop being weird and asking me to do such mean things! Her hand trembles as she holds the chainsaw low to the ground. She isn't pointing in anywhere near you. She really doesn't want to hurt you. 
bro. Like, she's literally trying to resist and we're just pressuring her and we just keep saying, please, please. Ugh. No, 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 you're just scaring me too much. She gently drops her chainsaw to the ground. Then she drags herself towards you, grabbing the chair you are restrained in and drags you along. I'm just gonna take you outside myself. Oh no, she shouldn't take me outside. She continues to drag you along, although it's a very slow progress. She uses a lot of her and her force to drag you. It takes what, what feels like hours to get into the hallway. Oh, brother. She breathes heavily as you reach the elevator. You know, this is a real uh, functional elevator. You don't get many of those anymore. But we're just so cool here that we have a working elevator. Yeah, I'm ga- Oh, and you just went back to being smiley again? That's a little boring, but I think it's interesting. She drags you into the elevator. Uh-huh, sure. Oh, and now we're in the elevator now. This one has only two floors? Any last words? Oh, wait. That sounds bad, actually. I'm just throwing you out! No, no, that sounds bad, too! Gee, how bad at this! I'm just gonna shut up now. Oh. You both remain in silence as the elevator mundles and kung the clung the clutters uh, down. It's barely functional. You feel like it's constantly just about to break. Okay, bing! B uh, bottom floor! She, she, she drags you and knocks you out from the L. She drags you from the elevator. The chair wheels uh, scratch and uh, screech against the wall, uh, against the floor. The, the chair's wheels scratch and screech against the floor. It's a horrible noise. Here we are! Until finally, you reach the front entrance. Oh, brother, well, what, where are we? The front door that sits in front of you, before you even have the chance to say goodbye, she uses her full little whole strain to somewhat throw your chair outside. You pl you're, you'd plunge into the concrete outside the front door. Bye-bye! Thank you for your visit! Maybe we will meet again in another life, little friend, if you have another life. The door slams and locks again and again and again and again. The door has a lot of locks. You sit on the floor, wondering what went wrong. You're supposed, you're supposed staring into someone's soul, and deep issues is rather rude. But it's normal, right? Whatever the issue was, you're still wrapped in ribbon, and you can't escape. You're on the floor. You might be here a while, bro. And we just, you just got stuck here. Like, did anyone even not notice me just get thrown out or something? Well, so that was basically the game right there. So yes, guys, I was just playing Zombie Friend Adventure. A really cute, but a pretty unsettling game, I definitely gotta say. I really didn't enjoy the concepts that actually interacting with a zombie clown girl right there. And some of the stuff that in... And some of the stuff in the game was pretty funny. But of course, it's, of course, surprisingly un unsettling and stuff here. I absolutely love the art. And I really did enjoy the storytelling of the comedic uh, dark values this one has and uh, Yeah, quite enjoyed this one. So that's gonna be it for today's video So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video Make sure you go subscribe to my channel give me all likes subscribe or anything I'm sure you also me and hopefully looking forward for new videos in the future. So there we go now and bye guys. Yeah, bye <laughs>